Hi, I'm Travis Gibson with MGM Targets. Today we're going to be doing a quick assembly video of the MGM Whirly Gig. Uh, before we get started here, the things that you're going to need for tools to assemble this product are going to be a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, a 3 quarter inch end wrench, and a 3 quarter inch socket. Those are going to make your life real easy. So uh, when you get the box, you're going to have two boxes. What you should have in that is four legs, five plates, five arms, the stainless steel shaft with the uh, front plate welded onto it, the cover, the vertical post. After you get the legs onto the vertical post, the next thing that you're going to want to assemble is the front plate. It's got the stainless steel shaft on it. Now, in the stainless steel shaft, there's small pieces drilled out there. That's where your set screws on the pillow block bearings are going to go. Uh, when you look at the vertical piece there, you'll see that this top plate is actually offset to one side. That's the side that you want to insert the stainless steel shaft from. When you're assembling these, all you want to do is get the Allen screw started just a little bit, and you can actually turn the plate to tell if it's locked into, into the uh, set holes the way it's supposed to be. And uh, when you put these guys together, we strongly recommend using Loctite. Good, make sure the Allen screws are in the set holes really good, and then go ahead and put red Loctite on them and snug everything good, down good and tight. After that's finished, we can go ahead and then put the cover on. And you need to take the four nuts off the bottom of the bolts that hold the pillow block bearings on, and then the cover simply slides over up onto the bottom of the bolts. These are nylocks, lock nuts, so we're going to need to make sure that they get tightened down with an end wrench or a socket as well. After those are tightened on, we can go ahead and install the arms. Each arm requires two carriage bolts and a lock nut. You can see that the slotted holes in the arms itself, that's where the carriage bolt head goes. It goes inside there and that keeps it from turning so you can install it on there with just one wrench. get these as tight as you possibly can. The tighter they are, the better. You really got to make sure that the vertical post front to back is perfectly plumb. If the target's leaning just a little bit too far forward or a little bit too far back, the plates won't fall off consistently. So you got to really keep an eye on that. That's the assembly of the MGM Whirly Gig. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. I hope it's been helpful. A couple of things to remember, anytime you're out at the range, always make sure that you got your eye and ear pro on. If you're engaging in steel targets with your pistol, make sure you're at least 15 yards away. If you're engaging with your rifle, make sure you're at least 150 yards away. The entire MGM product line is all made in the United States of America. For more information, go to www.mgmtargets.com. Let's have some fun.